Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Check Out the Rileys. You're bound to have a blast. If you stay, stay, stay. Come and talk with us for a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully the internet does better than it did just a few minutes ago. Mark Jacobs, hello, my friend. How are you doing this evening? Doing okay today? Just trying to get set up here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm very okay, sir. Good to hear, my friend. It's a pretty hot day here today, so... It's an earthquake. I thought I thought my wife bumped the uh, chair. Still going, huh? Mark, did you uh, feel the earthquake there? Is the chandelier moving? Jabez, is the chandelier moving back here? Yeah. See the uh, light moving? That's why the dogs are probably burning. I guess everybody just showed up too. Happy New Year. Yes, my friend. Hopefully you're having a good one so far. Hopefully that's the only earthquake we get today and this week. Missed a lot. You got to make sure you ring that bell. Then you won't miss it. Then it then it uh, gives you each one of them. You get a notice. So just go to our channel and ring the bell. Ring that bell. Oh, you've been very busy. Okay, I understand that. We've been we've been pretty busy ourselves. Hello, everyone that came on. Hopefully, everybody's doing well. Just had a small earthquake here. Thank you, thank you for those. Gave me one of those. Need those uh, thumbs. Share.
We just had a uh, small earthquake. Did you yeah. Did, did you guys fill it out in the truck? It was when you guys pulled in. Yeah. So it, we, it was shaking in here a little bit. I thought Mercy was hitting the back of the couch. I was like looking for her. Like, what's going on? But just just a small one though. Yeah. Right. Yep. I'm still alive. Right. <laughs> hello, 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 everybody that's joining us. Appreciate you guys coming. I think Mercy's going to come in here in a few. We're going to talk about uh, this date and why is it significant to us. What happened on this date? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody that's here. I don't usually uh, wait this late to do a LS, but I thought I'd jump on here real quick. Don't know if anybody else is doing one. Any of our friends? There you go. All right. Anybody else joining us yet? Wanted to uh, talk about uh, what happened on this date nine years ago. Not going to have a very long LS tonight, but just wanted to get on here and uh, do a quickie. Thank you for joining us. Hey, Bergie. <laughs> oh, man. No, she's not. I don't think she's crying anywhere. She might be, though. <laughs> We actually just had a uh, small earthquake. I thought it was Mercy knocking on the back of the couch while we were here live streaming just a few minutes ago. So enough to shake us all a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Poor child, yeah. Feel sorry for her, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was, you know, it, it was so small, it felt like one of the small aftershocks. 
but we hadn't had one in, you know, a little bit here. So, you know, it, I don't think they call them aftershocks this this far apart, but it was just a small, unless it was in the far part of the island, it was a big one, but we only barely felt it here. There's enough just to shake us a little bit. Like I said, I thought, thought Mercy was bumping the back of the couch. I like was looking back for her because I expect her to come anytime now. I think she might be in there working on something. What? Maybe what? Huh? Where's your sunglasses that go into the... They're out in the car, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it was nine years ago today. Facebook told me. Wow, having a spring morning in January. That sounds nice. I seen back in Indiana, Kentucky region of America, it was just rain, rain, rain. So, so it's kind of springy. <laughs> so the temperature is up there, huh? But yeah, on this day nine years ago, I met my wife for the first time in person. And then on the 27th, we got married. Life according to Facebook. Yeah, memory, memories according to Facebook. What did you post on your Facebook? So, it's one of the reasons I haven't deleted uh, Facebook in the past, just because, you know, some of the memories that's on there, some of the things that I put, and uh, I can see that, so... So that's about the only reason I continue to have FB. Yesterday was nine degrees. Okay. So quite a difference, huh? <laughs> well, um, yeah, well, you know, when I talked to Mercy, um, we, I told her that I did not, I wasn't looking for a girlfriend. Um, you know, I'd been, I'd been married for a long time and then got divorced and I didn't feel like I wasn't in the mood for dating. <laughs> so if I come to the Philippines, I'm going to, I'm going to come there and I'm going to marry you. I think she halfway believed me, but uh, this was the day that I proposed to her as soon as I met her. So there in the airport in Manila. And and we had to wait uh we had to wait so many weeks after i got the marriage license before you're able to get married i think it was two weeks but i had to fly back up to manila and get get the paperwork from the embassy saying i was eligible to be married and then uh once i had that then we met with the the people that gave the marriage license, and then you have to wait two weeks and take a class, and then you can get married. So that's what we did. We took a private class because uh, <laughs> nobody else. We we was in a hurry. We didn't want to have to wait for everybody else to come and take a class with us so the lady gave us a private just me and Marcy 
And you know, I was already older and stuff, so the stuff that she told me, yeah, I I know. <laughs> I know how the birds and the bees work. <laughs> that is funny. Yeah, hello, Vic Victor. How are you doing? Why what? I've said a lot of stuff, so. Why was this the first time I met my wife in Manila, Philippines, nine years ago? Well, welcome to the channel. Either way, appreciate you coming. Hopefully, you'll stay a while. Check us out. We are uh, having fun here in Mindanao, Philippines. It was a little bit warm today. Got kind of sweaty. Hopefully you stayed blessed. Yes, I think we are definitely blessed. So I took those classes as well, but I was 22 when I heard friends taking them in their 40s. I chuckled. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was in my. Let me see. How old am I? I was still in my 30s. But yeah, I already had two and a half kids, so <laughs> I know I know how you become pregnant. <laughs> but you know that's that's the things you got to do here in the Philippines to get the marriage uh, to license or whatever, and uh, so we took them. There was other things that they talked about, but that's that was the rem rememberable stuff. You know, even nine years later, I remember I teased I teased Mercy about some of the things the lady was saying, you know, because she told us in English, and uh, I'm not for sure if she was a hundred percent, hundred percent knew what she was talking about. She was talking about something being stretchy. <laughs> uh, I, I laughed uh, very well, very much. Uh, she's talking about how to count days between cycles. And <laughs> I was like, man, I'm embarrassed for you. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Well, did you learn anything in the class, uh, Barry G? <laughs> I was raised Roman Catholic, yeah, and then, and then the nuns and the priests gave that class. Wow. There <laughs> are a few smirks. Huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had one friend that went to Catholic Catholic school growing up. He would uh, tell me all the all the fun they had. <laughs> uh, scared you, huh? <laughs> I bet they might have put the scare into you. Tell you guys what not to do. <laughs> uh. You know, I thought it was uh, something else when I went to my uh, 
my friend's uh, school, uh, or actually it was the church that was down the street from him, a Catholic church. We we went. He went to the same church as I did. We were Nazarene, but he went to Catholic school. But the church down the street was having a poker night, <laughs> and they were all drinking and smoking and playing poker. <laughs> And I was there, you know, we were teenagers. Like, what in the mess is this? I thought this was a church. <laughs> we went to a very strict uh, Nazarene church, so it was uh, made the Baptists look like they were easy going. <laughs> Anyone else join us? Don't let me and uh, Barry have all the fun. My mother was told two years after I was born by the priest she was fed in Catholic Church because she was not pregnant again. <laughs> oh, wow. That, that's amazing. Yeah. So they had you they had you set up on a schedule, huh? <laughs> uh, it's pretty good stuff. I was looking for my wife to join me. I don't know if she's on here or not. But uh, I was hoping she'd join in here pretty soon. Oh, she went on to have six more kids. Okay. So she got back in good grace, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, my grandmother, she had, my grandmother had 13 children. And I, like, looked back and was like, what in the mess? I mean, we have a total of four now. But 13, not all of the 13 of them are, you know, made it out of childhood or anything, you know, back in those days. But she still had, well, I guess it was uh, 10 of them, 9 of them that did. So, yeah, some of them made them into their 20s, too. Where they passed. But my mother only had three uh, three kids. But my dad also had two, so there's five of us total. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody join us? My aunt had 15. Wow, my dad ate and his brother ate. Wow. Lived into adulthood. Okay. Those are all, all big numbers, huh? And none none of my uh none of my uh aunts or uncles had more than three kids. Uh, my uncle right now, who's married to a Filipino, he's on his third little girl coming. Rena Hall, Rena Hall, Rena Hall's in the house. Rena, hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? I watched your whole LS yesterday until the after the guys left. They were fixing the, the CRs, so I waited before they left, and you were cleaning, and you were cleaning up their mess, and then I, then I uh, got off of there. Hey, man, good to see you. Hey, breaking traditions in the house. 
Yeah, if you guys don't know Mr. Breaking Traditions, there he is. I watched his uh, New Year's. I think it was New Year's. Yeah, I think you guys were bringing in the New Year. But I was checking you guys out. Once you went inside, I couldn't see anymore. And uh, something was going on here, so I had to cut, get off. But Hello, everybody. We're in the hall. Shout out to all. Breaking traditions. I'm doing good, Bill. Uh, thanks, dear. Hey, no problem, Rena. I had your back from many miles away. <laughs> Rena, are you being good? Yeah, she's being good. She's just in the house by herself and had some uh, people there working, working on the big, the big house. So she had us all on that last with her and uh, while they were there. So, but it was all good. The guy only hit on her like six times, but uh, she didn't. She didn't take the bait. Did you watch the show? Yeah, well, some of it. But it was kind of dark in there. Yeah, but once it got dark and stuff, I. Uh, couldn't see very well, but but I definitely enjoyed. I'll come back if uh, you ever do any more LSs. I see you on here. I'll definitely jump back on. It's a pleasure uh, listening to you and being on there with everybody. It was the first time I had been in a, a biker bar for a long time. <laughs> uh. That's, I don't know what you guys call yours, but uh, club or whatever. I look like I belong to one, but uh, I, I I haven't found one over here anyways. <laughs> everybody rides a bike. Well, most everybody. Uh, Irina, a little Barry G. Not for the kids, Yeah. Hey, Breaking Traditions, ha, 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 love you, Brother Bear G. I was wondering if you'd been to a bike club. Yeah, you know, back in the day, I, I've been to anybody invite me to a place I'd go. <laughs> I'd go test it out. I'd been to, uh, you know, VFWs and uh, private clubs and bike clubs and, you know, all kinds of stuff. But I back then I didn't have the uh, I didn't have the look. There she is. She's here. She's here. Hey. Don't tell. Me, don't tell me you got no class. You don't have no class, right? I still open it. What? Huh? No, I mean it's open already, but no one. Okay, we we'll come sit down. Hey, let me tell you what what the name of this one is. Come here. Just for a minute. It is, today is the day, nine years ago, that I met my wife for the first time in the Philippines. <laughs> Who's? Did you guys hear that one? <laughs> She'll be back, she says. Hey, Brian, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Barry, she claims she's coming back, but we'll see. She had to go to the bedroom for something. Yeah. So this is our first meeting anniversary. Nine years ago. I may have to cut my beard and and haircut for my passport. Or does it matter? It does not matter. This is what my passport looks like. So I had to renew my uh, had to renew my passport. Uh, well, I chose to. 
um, a little bit early, so it'd be 10 years fresh when I came over here. So, uh, yep, I have a beard and hair and all that stuff. So, no, nope, you don't have to cut any of that off. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't plan on having one in the future, you might shave it, but but no, you don't have to you don't have to shave. Yeah. Like if I ever shave, <laughs> I remember uh there in Indiana, they were getting a police report somebody had hit my brother's van and I, then I found the people that hit it and the police were taking the police report and they uh they asked for my IDs and or my ID and they looked at me and kept looking at me. He's like, boy, that beard makes you look a lot different, doesn't it? I was like, yep. So yeah, I was clean shaven in, in my uh ID picture. Going on Monday to apply. Sounds good, my friend. From what I understand, they, the passports have been coming pretty quickly, so so you shouldn't have to apply for a rush order or anything like that. Save you a few dollars. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I won't shave. May cut it shorter. Yeah, good haircut before I get it. Yeah. Yeah. I went to... Uh, Walgreens is cheap for doing the passport. You have to take two small pictures, passport pictures. So I went to Walgreens to save some money. I think, I think at the uh, at the post office where you you know you can apply for your passport and stuff. They they charge you a lot. For those pictures, but Walgreens is a little cheaper, or someplace like that. Coming in April, yes, yeah, sounds good, my friend. Bill got to go work calls. Okay, Barry G, I understand, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, Walgreens was the place for me. Just go to the photo. To Apartment area, and they uh, snapped off a couple pictures, and they know what they're doing. I can't remember what we paid, but I know it was a lot cheaper than the post office. So, and the post office is where we went to uh, apply for the passports and stuff, and. Uh, there's certain post office that you could go to and certain you couldn't, that kind of thing. I think you can even do an appointment. So. Yes, yes. Brian, how is uh, Pennsylvania? Is it raining there? I've seen, uh, seen Indiana, Ohio, and Kentucky. It was rain, rain, rain. Yes, I have the form for it. What else? Yeah. Yep, it's uh, the form. And did you, do you have all your... Uh, my wife handles all of it. So, like birth certificate and... What else do you need? Well, you probably need IDs. Birth certificate, social security card, yeah. You know, probably whatever state ID that you got. License, yeah. All good. It, on that form, probably on the front page, it tells you everything that you'll need. But, um, yeah, I can't remember everything. Anything else? My wife comes out here. She can tell you better. 
she's the one that did all the paperwork. Of course, I had a passport back in the day, or I wouldn't have never came over here and met her. But uh, <laughs> and I don't remember. It's kind of vague, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's that's the main stuff. I know birth certificate. And the birth certificate can't be a copy. It's got to be the original birth certificate from whatever state you're from. Yeah, and take those pictures with you. Yeah. I would definitely do that. Call her in and ask her brother. Yep. Well, she just went into the bedroom. She said she's coming right back out. So, so give her a second here and... Uh, She's supposed to come right back out. She was in there getting something. Merce. Questions for you. Questions. Uh, yes. Code. Breaking traditions, my friend. Breaking traditions. He's going to go get his passport. Beach. The question is Do you recall everything that you need for the passport? He knows the pictures. Told him to go to Walgreens. He's got his birth certificate. He's got his license. You thinking that's it? You just fill out the form? Make an appointment. My wife said you can make an appointment to make it a little better. But uh, she thinks that's about it that you need. So you should be good. Do you think I should worry about a visa or just come over? Uh, breaking traditions, how long are you planning on staying in the Philippines? Is she planning to marry somebody here right away or, uh... No visa yet. Yeah, you don't... Just depends on how long you plan on staying, whether you'll need a visa. If you're eight weeks this time. Um, I think you depend on where you're going, of course, if you're going to the boonies where there's not a immigration, immigration office, I know he's talking about coming to Davao for some. Davao has one, Jinsun has one. Where else are you planning on going, breaking traditions? If you plan, because you got, let's see, I'm going to Bahutan, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm not for sure if they got an office there or not. But as long as you have a return ticket, you'll be fine. Return ticket, like estimate the whole eight weeks. Yeah, most of the time they want you to have your return, ticket. your return ticket, and then you can get the extension, extension while you're here. Yeah. Just tell them if they ask. Although as yes, they, they tell them that you just uh, request for an extension, right? The Philippine Immigration Office, right? Yeah, if they ask you, just say you're planning on going to the immigration office to get extensions to stay, but just have your return ticket. 
they they didn't want me to come here because I didn't have a return ticket and I had yeah. to I had to they argue with the uh, airlines a little bit. They, won't <laughs> they didn't want me to fly over here. I was like, look, I know what I'm doing. I don't need a return ticket. I'm, you just said, oh, I'm married to a Filipino. Yeah. I'm with them, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in Manila. Get extensions before I leave. Yeah. There or. Yeah. yeah, you can. If if you're planning on going to Davao, you could get it. And then. There, uh, well, yeah, if you're yeah, in Manila, that's yeah. easy enough. If the traffic's not too bad, you should be good to go. So this is your this is your first trip to the Philippines? Yeah. I told you. Or I'll buy a throwaway to Hong Kong for 29 days or something, yeah. Like he just fly out of the country real quick and come back. The same thing. What, price-wise? Yeah. You sell for $50, $20. She said it's either 50 or 100 bucks to get your extension. Yeah, so you probably... You'll probably be uh, a little yeah, cheaper. Have hard time to travel. Yeah. Yeah, we have to do a run somewhere in March. Okay. So you're just coming, coming back for a little bit, huh? This time you gotta have paperwork. Last time they just sent you. He's coming here just to visit or visit to marry? Uh, breaking, breaking traditions. My wife is asking about your marital status. And uh, are you already married to a Filipino? Or, or uh, are you coming to marry one? Or, just visit. or are you just visiting? What's... Watch your story breaking traditions. I don't I can't think of it off the top of my head, that's why I'm asking. I didn't have much sleep. I was up all night watching watching Rena Hall and the plumbers. <laughs> yeah. Back then, huh? Yeah, my nephew's over in Japan right now. He's in in the Marines, so yeah, he don't have a he doesn't have a uh, a uh, passport either. No, I don't have a Filipino wife. What about a Filipino girlfriend? <laughs> and if you have a an American wife, that's okay too. We're just we're just being nosy. One of our friends that's on here, he cracks me up when he says, my wife won't let me marry a Filipino. <laughs> he kills me. Uh, that's funny, right? That was funny. Uh, good stuff. Rena Hall, are you still with us, my friend? I know who else. I seen Dave was on here earlier, but uh oh, wait a position. I have a friend online I want to meet, but no commitment yet. Oh, Kadoki, my friend. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I told my wife if I uh, 
when I came all the way over here, I I was uh, leaving married. <laughs> That's what I did. Proposed to her when uh, proposed to her when I met her in the airport nine years ago today. What? Did he leave the light on? In fact, I'm in doubt about that too. So, uh, so, uh, breaking traditions. Let's make sure I'm reading that right. In fact, I'm in doubt about that too. So, are you in doubt about um, meeting up with her or how that's going to play out? If you don't mind us asking, if we're if we're, at, if we're getting too nosy, just let us know. I see, I see. Well, you know, I, I've heard many different ways as far as uh, marriage over here. And, and we've, you know, my wife has gotten my entire family married off to Filipinas. But sometimes she is like my brother came over here with me the second time I came over here before married well after I was married to Mercy, but before she was able to come to America. And when he came over he hadn't talked to any anything, anybody. He wasn't really interested in uh, meeting somebody, but uh, he was digging the idea of an extended vacation. So he just came with me, and uh, he left home with the, uh, or he went back home with the fiance, and uh, and <laughs> and they were. Uh, married not long after my my dad my wife hooked up with somebody and they they got married my uncle my wife hooked up with somebody and they got married but my brother uh, my wife introduced them to many different uh, so he kind of dated some different ones and um, he ended up one of the girls that he liked the most asked him to marry her. So, oh, did I say that? <laughs> did I put that out there? So a lot of red flags with this one. Yeah, unfortunately, my friend, there is a there is a lot of that where they a lot of red flags. You, at least you're noticing them ahead of time. So. Unfortunately, there is uh, some people that make uh, dating men online a profession. And uh, they are already married women. And usually. We watched one young lady that was ripping my father off. Um, build herself a house with all the money she was ripping many, many men off for. You know, all her relatives were sick, and her child always needed milk. But I found out about it, and I put a stop to that one. Well, hopefully everything works out, and when you're over here, you'll find the right one. Uh, he may go to uh, Tom's meet and greet, so if we're there, we'll definitely meet up with him. If we go to Tom's meet and greet, 
Uh, so we're going to meet him, huh? Yeah, I don't want to die over there, show up in that rock and kill ours. Right. I the first I think it's awesome and it is possible. Yeah. Just know people that you can trust. Yeah. Just you'll be fine. Yeah, just and be careful where you go and places where you're not familiar with stuff. I mean like how we can go there. Yeah, just check before you go yeah. to the city. Find out what people say about it. Yeah. Like Davao, places like that, you're good. You're good. Davao. Just don't go to weird off the road beaten path places. Find there are beautiful places here. Yeah, there's some gorgeous places. They're willing to help. You. Yeah. They they off offer right not don't need to ask yeah yeah but he's been here before in the eighties uh, and nineties so he's familiar he's not oh those years are very nice people <laughs> My wife's crazy. Yeah. They were nice there, back then. Yeah. There's no video games before. No t there's TV, but shared by 10 neighbors. Right. <laughs> Said he could take care of business. So I will just, I will just, I'm alone and I mean, I can take care of business if I need to. But everyone has to sleep. Yeah. Does that mean have to sleep? Well, it's just a saying. Oh. You know, it's like. But literally, I'm thinking. Well, say, say, you know, you have issues with someone. Mm. Eventually, they're gonna fall asleep. <laughs> Do you get it? Like a karma. No, like uh, if you if you got me captive. Or you're doing something bad to me, and you fall asleep. I'm gonna get you. Revenge. Well, kind of. Just, just a saying that that we have. But he's he's a former military man, so he knows what he's doing. He's got it. Yeah, just, just be aware. Ninety-nine percent. He's been here before, so yeah. I guess he'll do better than he thinks. Here you go, Merce. I mean, I fell asleep maybe in my throat, but it's got Okay. Oh, so people around you is scared. Yeah. They might. You might cut their throat, not yours. Yeah, my uh, my dad, dad suffers from that too, so so I'm I'm used to it. Yeah, I um, I suffer from anxiety. Uh, it's not it's not. Like you have, but you know, I have, I have my own issues. He's saying no, he will not cut anybody's throat. So, Mercy, on this day nine years ago, what do you still remember? Look back, right? You mean don't look back? I remember when you proposed to me. Yeah. When did I propose to you? That's unforgettable. Yeah. Like if I could go turn that time back, I would have cried a little bit. Cried. <laughs> Why cry? Of joy. Uh, That's the moment that I want to know. 
Remember? Remember. What What did you do though when I got down and proposed to you yeah, in front I of everybody? About other people thinking what this guy doing. Yeah. Hey, stand up! Come on. Yeah. Kept trying to get me to stand, right? Yeah. And what was I busy doing? Said we just need to stay there, kneel down, and said. I'm not going to stand up until you answer my question. <laughs> Too demanding. So what did you say? I said, yes, come on. <laughs> did I give you a ring? Yes. Do you have that ring? No. <laughs> I lost it. Ooh, special. I forget. I forget. I forget. I'm forgetful. That's why I forgive him. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I forgot the ring where I put it. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, when I came over here, I did tell her that, you know, I was coming for marriage, that I wasn't just coming to yeah, get a girlfriend. Did you read that loud enough that I heard you? He said, happy anniversary to you all. Yeah. Anyhow, you all look happy and proud of that. Some folks never have what you do. Feel blessed. Yeah, thank you, my friend. We, we are very blessed. We are, uh, you know, after nine years of marriage, well, on the 27th is our official anniversary. So uh, we got married quickly after we met so um we've had a good seven years of marriage and uh oh married for nine but we had good seven years we just balanced it out a little bit <laughs> there's a little, little bit of shade in there yeah sir My friend, S-R-R-B. Um, I'm lost. Yeah, I'm not. Do you have? S-R-R-B. Yeah, I'm not for sure. I, I suffer from anxiety attacks. Is, is that what you're asking? Visa-wise, okay. I have Balabayan visa. Right. That means I came into the country with my Filipino wife, so they give me a one-year visa to be in the country. So we have to leave out um, before March something, leave out of the country for a day, and then come back in. So yeah, if you're married to a Filipino, you get you to bring him with, you. with when you're with them. You can't just come into the country by yourself because sometimes we travel by ourselves. Like I send Mercy ahead, and then I come later. That's but good. yeah, but you can't do that if you're trying to stay a long time. So uh, we came together. So she, also, I get a one some year. People, you know, like they like to stay here live here mm. and they just you know go and do some stuff they do in uh, america mm. so what go they do is you know leave their wife here they usually have their wife book a ticket to go to hong kong and meet them mm. meet there and then travel and come back together in. in the philippines okay yeah, that's what they do Scottish, Filipina, Barry hey, hey, hey. and Jean. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Visa wise. Oh, great. Yep. Congratulations to you both and many more years to come. Yep. Today was the day that we met in person. We're meeting. Yeah. Proposed. And I proposed to her. So on the 27th of this month was our wedding date. 
So, uh, yeah, nine years now. Ooh, wow. Then uh, breaking traditions. It's telling you hello, Scottish Filipino. Hello, breaking traditions. It's over with now, right? See. Oh. Okay, guys. Thanks for your help. Share my time. Okay. No problem, my friend. We'll see you next time. Yeah, if, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask us anytime. We'll try to help you with whatever. Anything you need, brother. You read that one so I don't have to. Lawrence. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to check out the Riley's. How are you doing today? We're here cel celebrating. See you, BT, breaking traditions. Lawrence, uh, where are you from, my friend? What, what are you up to? Mm. Mm. <laughs> you guys are a mess. I'm actually Filipino. Awesome, awesome. Currently live in the Philippines. Yeah, we live in the Philippines as well. We're down here in Mindanao. What part of the Philippines do you live in, my friend? Today is Saturday, right? Yes, tomorrow is Sunday. Sunday. Okay. That is in northern. So you're up in Luzon area, huh? From Western Visayas. Did I say that right? Say it again, Merce. Happy Zemo. Okay, I can't say that, but uh, my wife can. <laughs> I'll hack it up. I'm horrible at project trying to pronounce places. But we're down here in, uh, like I said, Mindanao. We're in uh, South Cotabato is our province. And then uh, Corona del City is our city that we live. We're about an hour north of Jinsun. Hoping he's laughing in there. Lawrence, how uh, how did you find our channel tonight, my friend? Because I I don't uh, I don't recall us meeting, but we might have. I I just don't remember off the top of my head. I was hoping you tell me how popular this channel is getting and uh, just everybody sees it. <laughs> I'm just messing. Well, welcome to our show. My wife is uh, playing on her phone. No, she's looking at, looking at some stuff she got going on there, work-related. Oh, awesome. It's getting recommended. Awesome Blossom. That sounds great. Well, I appreciate you uh, clicking on us and checking us out. Hopefully you'll stay and 
maybe even consider uh, uh, ringing our bell over here. We are uh, Phil Am Company couple. We lived in Indiana, USA, and we moved to the Philippines back in March of 2019. So we've been living here. No, this is many, many times here in the Philippines. Uh, I started coming here back nine years ago. Today was my first my first time ever in the Philippines. That is when I met my wife at there in Manila Airport and um, and proposed to her. He said he peed him. He's joking. Are you sure, Joe? So we we came here. I've spent many months here before. I usually come for one to two months. Uh, we we didn't uh, get any effect from the typhoon here. Uh, we've been busy having all the earthquakes. And uh, we actually had an earthquake at the beginning of this LS, a small one. Lovely. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations to you both. Yeah, nine years ago was when me and my wife met for the first time. There in the Manila Airport. And thank you very much as well, Lawrence. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're a very blessed couple. Yeah. My wife is reading the email, so she'll uh, get back at us here in a couple minutes. If you guys haven't uh, showed us any love, please do that before you go. Yeah. Yeah, it was devastating hearing. Oh, I hate to hear that, my friend. So very, uh, very bad up there, huh? Yeah, we we didn't get any of it uh, down here. We've just been, like I said, suffering from all the uh, the earthquakes. I caught the, uh, we had a 6.9 earthquake uh, last month here. We had no power for a week. Wow, man, that's horrible. That is horrible. I can't take a brown out for a day, much less a week. Marsh, you see uh, Lovely has joined us? No. Congratulate us. I got... Uh... What now? I got charged for something that I didn't do. Of course. Like, uh, I didn't book anything in there, but they gave me, like, I'm absent. No, not. I didn't open that slot. Maybe that's why they give it to you. Just talk to her tomorrow. After the typhoon here, was also an earthquake that happened. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's been crazy in the Philippines, right? I promise you, it's not crazy because I moved here. Sorry, sorry, like that, right? I was kind of hoping you join into this tonight. It was not that strong. Magnum, yeah, four point eight. Okay, yeah, ours was our last one here was a six point nine, and uh, the one before that was six eight, I think, right? Or six seven. We have uh, videos of all the damages and stuff around. 
including our uncle's house, aunt and uncle's house that was totally demolished to the ground. Well, welcome to our channel. I was kind of hoping you would like to say your other name and talk. And... Okay. Congratulations, Ebo. Yeah, I read, read stuff. That yeah. I'm all caught up. I'm just trying to get. Thank you guys for showing up. My wife is uh, preoccupied with uh, work right now. She's reading emails and all that kind of good stuff. And she's sending emails. But yeah, it's a uh, lovely aqua. Are you still uh, on here, my friend? Lawrence, is uh, everything uh, is everything back in order now? I mean, obviously you guys have power now and stuff, but uh, how is everything now that this long after it? Welcome, welcome everybody to our channel. Appreciate all the ninjas in the background. Well, it looks like uh, everybody is done talking for the evening. I appreciate you guys for coming by. And uh, I will release a, another video here after I get off. And uh, you guys check it out. I'm not for sure which one until I get over there. I got a couple lined up. But uh, thank you for coming to our channel. Thank you for giving us some support tonight. And uh, remember to be kind to one another, even when you don't have to. Till next time, guys, check out the Rileys.